Hi there Cadillac owners, today in our 2019 Cadillac XT4 we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Kurt's custom fit four pole trailer wiring harness. We can go ahead and pull off the dust boot which will get it off our safety chain loop there. It's a good way to store it when you're not using it. We can see the flat four connector that we've got here at the back. This is going to provide us with all of our necessary lighting signals which includes our left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps and brake lamps keeping us DOT compliant in all states. This will ensure that people behind us will know our intentions when we're going down the road, so that way we can easily merge lanes without having to worry about somebody not knowing what's going on. Now, unlike some of the other four pole wiring harnesses you might've seen here at eTrailer, there is no module included in this harness. It's just a wire harness. And normally that's not a good thing, but on our Cadillac here, Cadillac is already prepared for this setup. They've got the connector here at the back that it plugs directly into, and the vehicle has its own dedicated fuses for all the lighting signals here on our connector. So if there was an issue on our trailer, it wouldn't affect anything here on our vehicle. It would just simply open the fuse that is designed for this dedicated circuit. You can repair your trailer and then replace the fuse in your vehicle and you're back up and running again. So now we've taken a look at some of the features of our connector here. Why don't you follow along with me in the shop and we'll show you how to get it installed. This is an extremely quick and easy installation on our harness here. It may be a little bit intimidating because of the location of the connector we need to plug it in. It's hard to see, but we're going to give you a couple of different views so you can locate the connector, reach up there and get it plugged in, and have all your lighting just like we do here. We'll begin our installation here at the back of the vehicle. We just simply have to plug in the connector for our harness into the factory connector that's located here behind the fascia. The connector is roughly in this area here. We're going to go ahead and pan to a, a better shot. We've got the fascia removed so you guys can get a good idea of where it's located. But when you install this at home, you can reach up below and get to it. So we're going to show you both ways, show you how to, where you're going to see it, and then also show you how to reach up and grab it. So here you can see how you would be doing this if you were working from underneath to get a little bit better shot. When you have your fascia on here, there's a cover right here. So you'll be reaching in on each side of your hitch. And you, you can reach in, depending on your hitch, you might want to go from the passenger side. Because you can see here, your hand is going to be able to reach up by the hitch and you'll be able to get over here towards your connector to unplug it. Now, depending on your hitch, if you can get on the other side, this side will be easier, but the particular hitch that we've got installed on here, uh, has a bracket there for mounting your electrical connector. It's a little bit harder to get your hand up in here on this side because of that bracket. So depending on the brand of hitch you got, you might not want to do that. Now, what's what I would recommend doing after you stick your hand up here, just pop that connector right off of there. Just kind of pull it right out of there and then you can pull it down and you can have a much easier time working with it from underneath down there. And we're going to plug, just do it right here because it's easier for you guys to see. We're going to press in on the connector pull the plug off of it, that's just a cap. You can set that aside, you won't need it. And then just like you were doing this underneath, you just feed your wiring up and plug it into your connector. And I'm gonna feed it up and plug it in up here so you guys can see it more easily. The two will mesh right together, it'll plug in. So we're gonna reach up, I'm gonna grab the connector and it's on a little bracket. I'm just gonna pull it right off of the bracket there. It just pops right off of there and then we can drop the connector down. Once we've got our connector down here, we'll pull the lock tab back then we can press on the button and remove the cap. Once the cap has been removed, we simply need to plug in our harness and it just meshes right up with it, plugs directly in. Click, we are good to go. At this point now, we'll just take the excess that we have here and we'll secure it with a cable tie to our hitch. And if you wanted to purchase a mounting bracket, you can get those here at eTrailer and you can mount up your four-way connector. You also receive a dust boot in your kit that just simply slides over the connector like that. There is a single hole there that lines up with the exposed pin and that'll keep out dirt, debris, and moisture when you plug it in. It is going to be a tight fit to seal it up. And you can also use that to secure it to your hitch if you don't have a bracket. And this will just help keep it up off the pavement, prevent it from receiving any damage. Now that we've got everything installed, we want to test it out and make sure it's working properly. So we're gonna go ahead and grab it off of our hitch there, plug in a tester. You can plug into your trailer, but I highly recommend a tester like this because if you have any faults on your trailer, such as a short or an open, one of the circuits, uh, one of the lights may not function on your trailer and it could be an issue with your trailer, but you might think it's an issue with your wiring. Using a tester like this will ensure that you know that the vehicle side is working properly. So if you have any issues, you know that it's on your trailer side. 
and we want to verify that we have all of our signals working properly, which includes our left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps, and brake lamps. Now, for whatever reason you plug in your connector at the back and one of your signals aren't working, one of the possibilities is that the fuse is not inserted in the fuse box. All of ours were in there from the factory, so there's a good chance yours will be too at home, but just in case, you can check that yourself. There's two tabs here on the side. Just pull outward on those and the cover will pop up. All your fuses will be labeled here on the right, and the number will correspond to its location here on the diagram. The ones we are concerned with for our trailer lighting is fuses 7, 70, and 92. That's going to be our left tail and right stop turn signal. So that'll cover everything that our uh, connector there is outputting. So just double check those. And then in the event that your test worked good, but you plugged into your trailer and all of a sudden now it's not working, that is a good indication that the fault's on your trailer side and it may have opened your fuse. Because unlike some of the other modules that we sell here at eTrailer, this one does not have any circuit protection made into it, but our vehicle here has circuit protection built into it and it has those dedicated fuses already built into the vehicle. And that completes our installation of Kurt's custom fit four-pole trailer wiring harness on our 2019 Cadillac X-T4.